When I went to Peru, it, it wasn't there. I wasn't some kind of big soul journey. It was a group of other 50-something old farts, and it was for the Archaeological Conservancy, and it was to look at all the major archaeological sites in Peru. But the sites are so... Nothing can prepare you, just like nothing can prepare you for the DMT experience, for seeing the scope of the magnificence of, this, of the engineering, how exquisitely the stones are fit together at Machu Picchu, the art. And it was obvious to me that this was knowledge that came from beyond the earth plane. And when I asked the professor who was leading our trip about the use of psychoactive substances, and he said, oh, yes, we, they, they, there was quite a few um, traces found in vessels in every single site, and, but they don't attribute that to the, the engineering. You know, this was just something that they did, you know, to get high, I don't know. But there wasn't the, the feeling that that had anything to do with the accomplishments of the of the Inca civilization, and it was really bothering me that he didn't seem to see that there was any kind of a connection. So I talked to our native guide about it, and he was interested that a, a white woman would have this kind of knowledge, would have this insight, because of course they believe that the ancient ones got the teachings from the plant teachers from the ayahuasca. And we talked about it a little bit, and he asked me what kind of specific experience I had, and I told him about being in the study. And his eyes got really big, and he said, they injected it directly into your body? He said, the places you must have gone. And that was the first time in my life that someone had said to me and acknowledged and recognized where I had been. It wasn't, oh, wow, that's an interesting experience. I mean, he knew. He knew that I had been out and visited the teachers. And I could see everywhere that I looked the evidence of the, of the teaching, the engineering. And, I, and to hear them explain, oh, they, they quarried these rocks three miles away, 13-ton stones with little tiny stone tools. They dragged him down the mountain, across the Yurubamba River, up the other side of the mountain, and with stone ramps and llama's wool ropes and vines. And you see this and you know it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible with the knowledge that we have today. And in fact, there was an engineer in our group and I asked him about it. I said, why, why hasn't this been simulated on the supercomputers at Los Alamos? And he said, because we can't even figure out how they would do it with cranes. We wouldn't even know where to start with a simulation. And so I, I feel like that this is something that, that hasn't been acknowledged, that this is the part of the gifts. Something was lost with the persecution of the Incas, with uh, Christianity thinking that these are the devils that they have to drive out of people, when in fact it was the angels.